Now in this video, we're going to focus on the light dependent resistor as a voltage divider. We're not going to go over the basics of it as a voltage divider. I just want to talk about something about uh, making sure you properly limit current when you are using one. So here we have an NPN bipolar junction transistor. It's being controlled by a light dependent resistor voltage divider with the light dependent resistor voltage divider on the low side. You consider ground to be a lower voltage and the positive supply a higher voltage. And you can also put the light dependent resistor on the higher side. And uh, so I just wrote a little note over there, high side light dependent resistor. So ran out of space, but uh, in any case, on the low side, with an NPN bipolar junction transistor, it is really safe. So you can see here we have the positive 5 volts there. And we have a load here that's going to limit current enough to protect these three components at uh, any given time. Over here we have a 10 kilo ohm resistor. That path, 10 kilo ohms, protecting the base to emitter and also protecting the light dependent resistor. Uh, pretty straightforward, we got plenty of protection there. We don't have to worry about anything. When it gets bright enough, so the light dependent resistor gets to close to zero volts, maybe it's 30 or 40, I haven't uh, tested in sunlight, but I got it pretty bright down to about 30 ohms of resistance. You have a connection to ground to the base there, uh, pretty directly, and uh, that just turns everything off. No current flows uh, through the transistor at that point. So you don't have to worry about high current over there. Now, we have this situation. So. If we do not use this 220 ohm resistor, we just put 5 volts across the light dependent resistor and a bright light because it does get up to about 200 million ohms, actually way above 200 million ohms, that's as high as I can measure when it is completely dark. But you get it bright enough, it gets uh, really close to 0 ohms, maybe 40 or 50 ohms, something like that. And uh, sunlight, maybe it will get down to 0, but in any case, it gets really low. So. If it doesn't start limiting current because it's heating up as current flows through it, uh, never did that test, so don't know for sure, but I'm assuming it doesn't. So I'm assuming you're still stuck with that zero ohms of resistance. If you have five volts directly uh, pushing current, after about uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.6 volts, the base two emitter is going to conduct. It's going to drop that voltage, but after that, it's just going to conduct whatever current you apply to it. And uh, so, Maybe the light dependent resistor will burn out. Maybe the transistor will burn out. Uh, so you need to limit that current by putting a 220 ohm resistor in series with it because that's about the minimum you want to use with five volts. So with other components in series with it, maybe you can go up a little bit more, but uh, you can use 220 ohms with uh, five volts directly across it. So it's a good minimum just to go with. So you got almost no resistance there. You still got 220 ohms there. They add up. So you'll still have close to about 220 ohms of resistance. That's a lot of current to go through the base two emitter. And the 10 kilo ohm resistor isn't really going to affect that at all. So you'll have pretty much the full uh, 5 volts. And uh, then again, we got this path here. So the uh, transistor will conduct fully. That's another thing. You got to make sure there's something in series with the collector to emitter because it can conduct fully. But you put an LED and a resistor in series as a load. That limits the current to whatever the uh, resistor and the LED set it to when the transistor is conducting fully. So, in any case, again, I assume you've already uh, studied these topics, but it's really easy to miss that uh, a component, if uh, it can get down to zero ohms of resistance, it's easy to make it look like there's resistance there when actually it will get almost to uh, nothing and it's practically a short circuit. So, good thing to uh, practice looking for. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting to the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. But uh, just watching videos helps out a lot. I appreciate that. I'll see you in the next video.